Finally, the work at Lake Montebello heading towards the finish line now. The sinkhole that opened up on the lake's northeast side in 2022 was originally scheduled to be closed up in the spring, but DPW officials say it now looks like it will be completed in the fall. That's welcome news for those who like to use the popular lake loop that's been partially closed off for nearly two years as repairs are being made. And Kelsey Kushner is on your corner in northeast Baltimore with a closer look now at what's being done and also the progress. For the past two years, the work at Lake Montebello has been full steam ahead. We work seven days a week from sunup to sundown. But for project engineer Sherrod Hicks with DPW, it's also personal. I live right across the street. I can actually see the, I can actually see the lake in the construction project uh, from my bedroom window. Hicks is one of 300,000 customers receiving water from a 48-inch water main bypass, a connection pipe above the ground, while crews work to repair the massive sinkhole at the Lake Montebello water treatment plant. And the hole went from a small opening like, uh, you know, baseball, ba uh, basketball opening to a huge sinkhole. Timothy Wolf, chief of engineering and construction at DPW, says back in July of 2020, severe flooding on Hill and Road sparked an investigation into the 65 foot drain, where city investigators found that a portion of the 145 year old storm drain beneath the road collapsed, later causing the massive sinkhole to expand in November of 2022. This is a critical area for our water infrastructure. We put out about 40 to 50 million gallons a day of water. Tuesday, WJZ got a closer look at the work being done to repair the sinkhole. Officials say part of the lake was temporarily lowered while they safely removed about 7,500 dump trucks worth of soil to get to the bottom of the sinkhole. They're now ready to replace the drain. So this is a nine foot storm drain, whole bass pipe that's going to be replacing the 108 inch that's filled. From the project, deemed a legacy project, is expected to be complete in November with the hopes of reopening the part of the paved path now off limits. I'm anxious to get this lake uh, back open so I can use it, so my family can use it. On your corner in Lake Montebello, Kelsey Kushner for WJC.